Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 1221 in Honolulu, 521 in New York. On Monday, first trading day of the year, January 3rd, 2022, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. It was an extremely strong sell-off in the precious metals markets today, with palladium taking it the hardest, down almost 5% with the most active contract at $1,819, down $93 on the day, putting it closer and closer to the current price of gold. Gold lost $27.30. It did trade to a low today of $1,798 after opening at $1,830.10 and then trading to a high of $1,833 before the sell-off began. Today's sell-off gave us the opportunity to position ourselves on a long position around 1800. We will cover that in detail when we pull up some charts. Silver also took it pretty hard, losing about 1.85%, a total of 43 cents, taking the most active March contract to $22.92. This first chart is a 10-minute candlestick chart of the continuous contract of gold. We can see that it did hit early in the trading session the highs that came in roughly at $1,833. From there, it was a methodical trade moving lower throughout the trading session until it started to move sideways, clipped up a little bit, then made the low of the day, which came in right here. Of course, we entered a trade at $1,801. We'll talk about our exit strategy as well as our stop on some daily charts. We are looking at a daily candlestick chart of gold futures, and what we can see is it did trade roughly to a resistance point that we identified. That is the 38% Fibonacci retracement that comes in at 1,833. This occurred early in the trading session. It then broke through some critical areas, the first one being $1,815. We've identified that as being an area that had a series of tops that were points in time in which it traded to that high, but was unable really to take it out to some degree this point here absolutely this high here as well as this high here this was a major point of resistance that it took out two days prior to the end of the year that's these two trading days right here and really opened above the close of the last trading session we had and that of course was last week as it came down it did find support at this particular price point and that price point is a longer term Fibonacci retracement. You can see that it goes back to here, which is $17.99. And when we compress the chart, we can see that that is a 50% retracement. And so that's what makes that fairly strong to me, is that we have historical data showing us that this is an important area, $1,800 per ounce. And then we've identified really a trading band and that band comes in between 1805, call it, and 1800. We're currently trading at 1801.30. And traders, the 50% retracement level that we just spoke about is from a much longer data set. A beginning at the beginning of June last year, gold was trading at 1920, down to these lows at 1678. First, I do want to address the stop. I have just put up the trade alert that was sent out today, and you can see that at the upper right-hand side. That is this. It's a cut and paste from the actual email that went out. Of course, it went out via SMS text message. But what we said was to buy it at the market. It was at 1801 at that time, and place our stop at 1783.80. The rationale behind that was this particular price point, which is 1784. It is the 78% Fib retracement. It is the shorter of the two data sets that we use from the low in November up to November the 15th when it hit about 1880. 
We have seen over the last couple of trading days, even when it was under pressure, that that came in as a low. And because of that, we felt that it should not break below that if we're going to resume an upward trend. So maintain your current long position, maintain your current stop. Traders, lastly, I do want to talk about my upside targets. We are now trading overseas as it is just past 1 o'clock in Honolulu. You can see the small green candle right here representing overseas trading, currently at 1802.30. And the high has been about 1802.60. The first level we need to see it break above is 18.15. I don't see that as a difficult task, but we could run into some resistance at 18.33. If that is the case and gold continues to run higher and we see any kind of pullback or resistance, that would be the point we pull profits. If it goes straight through 1833, we would look at a strategy of getting out at approximately $1,850. That would be our next target. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.